Hi, I'm Michelle, and I'm here to talk about the shock zombie note study guides. So shock is a very complex topic. As a critical care nurse, I've taken care of many patients that are in shock. And it took me a while to really understand the concepts um, of shock. You know, I understand the symptoms and how my patient presented, but I wasn't always sure what was going on inside the patient. And it takes a lot of studying to understand that. Um, patients will respond to shock by trying to compensate and then they no longer can compensate and they decompensate. So there's terminologies around shock states. There's many names of different types of shock and it, it becomes very complex. So what I've done is I've taken those ideas and put it on a chart. So on one side is, is a memorization guide on the different types of shock whether it's hemorrhagic, whether it's cardiogenic, septic shock, anaphylactic shock. There's a few others, respiratory, metabolic, neurogenic. And it actually talks about the causes of each type of shock. It talks about the common culprits, what causes the, the types of shock. And then it goes into how does it affect the patient? What are we going to see in our patient when they're in different types of shock? And the new theory on shock is really to identify it before the patient becomes severely symptomatic. In other words, put in treatment protocols before it becomes a decompensated event. So if we can understand the concepts, the, the subtle signs and symptoms, um, we can start treating patients before the events become very difficult to treat. If you want more information about shock, you know, you can get large tech book, textbooks. There's information online. Um, they're starting to think about scoring patients who have these types of symptoms and start treating them based on their score. But this really gives us the base of what shock is what are those symptoms we are looking for? So this will help us in all our areas, whether it's a med surge, physician, nurse, student, PA. It really hones in on the different types of shock and what to expect. On the back, it talks about um, the compensation, decompensation, and when does it become irreversible? What's happening? There's cellular damage. We want to prevent that. We want to find out what does it mean? What does it look like if somebody is compensating? Because it's not too late to help them in those situations. It talks about the signs and symptoms of when they're decompensating. So we can understand what changes are happening to our patients. There is information about the treatments, whether or not it's you know simply oxygen and fluids, whether you need to give them vasoconstrictive infusions, um, putting their head up, putting their head down. There's lots of options on treating our patients. Um, we have mnemonics on here on how to memorize the different types of shock. So it's a complex topic um, put into easy terminology and ways that we can memorize the different phases of shock, the names of shock, because in different textbooks, they have different names. So we try to minimize that, but put the ones down that we see very frequently. And it gives us an idea of how to proceed with treating and identify patients that are in shock. So um, this is a complex study guide, but if you have any questions about the content on here, or if you need any more information, you know that you're always uh, welcome to contact me. Some of you that are registered for my program um, have my phone number. You can call me. Um, if, you're not re if you cannot register for any of my programs, um, you can always contact me through my website, michellekunz.com, and that's with one L. 
Um, if you're not able to uh, register my program, you can get any of these study guides on Amazon.com. That's pretty easy as well. So I'd just like to thank you for your time, and I hope that you also find these study guides helpful. Thank you.